Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in DeKalb, Illinois, where the frauditor known as Tyrant Terminator decides that he wants to film inside of the Department of Children and Families. Oh, great. He wants to film inside a government agency that might just have private information in it and possibly children around. Oh, great. Yeah, he doesn't care about anybody's privacy. He just cares about himself. But at least it doesn't work out very well for him, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Back at y'all with another one. Today we at the Department of Children and Family Services out in DeKalb, Illinois. We're just getting ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone. Well, the frauditor certainly cares about his rights, but he doesn't care about the uh, rights of everybody else to make sure that their personal uh, information is uh, safe and secure uh, from people like this jackass who uh, wants to put it on the internet for all to see and uh, contribute to the uh, identity theft problem that is uh, quite an issue in this country. Nope, he doesn't think about that kind of thing. He only thinks of himself. There's a word for that kind of thing. It's something frauditors tend to lack. I believe the word is called empathy. That's right. He lacks empathy. I don't need any help right now at the moment. Probably in a few moments, though. You can't film in here. I'm pretty sure I can. I don't think you can. You can't film in here. I don't think you can either. I'm pretty sure. Not at the moment, but probably in a few moments. Though You work here? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie? Jamie. Oh, Jasmine, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can, though. Uh, Definitely. This is a state building. You can't come in there. That's, per, that's exactly why I can, because it's a state building. That is a pitiful rationale right there, dude, because you and other frauditors have been kicked out because you say you have the authority to do whatever the hell you want inside of a government building. Nope, that's not how it works. If they want you gone because they don't want their uh, patrons to feel intimidated by some SOB with the freaking camera, then, well, you can be trespassed. And according to Illinois uh, statutes, yes, you can be trespassed. So don't give that argument, even though I know you already will. But hey, if you want to ignore the law and everything like that, well, I guess that's why most of you uh, idiotic frauditors have ended up in prison at one time or another. Five minutes later. Yeah, I'm just going to document, like I was saying, I'm just going to document the um, the building, um, and then I'll be good to go. Okay, but, but we, are, we don't allow that inside here in the building. Who doesn't allow it? DCFS. Oh, okay, yeah, that's just it. But um, like I said, I'm, if I'm able to just document it, because I, I, I know for a fact that I can do it. I just want to document, like you guys have public records right here on the wall and stuff like that. I'm going to document that, get the rest of the stuff in the building, and that's it. You, you, you still can't do that in here. I keep, I keep telling them. Are you, and, and your name is Frank, right? For Ally University? Yeah. Or Universal? Yeah, you, 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 we can. No, you can't. I'm pretty sure we can. Now, one of the traits of these frauding videos is that they tend to leave a lot of dead air in them. So... Let's just go ahead and edit out all that dead air and go to when the police actually arrive. Not to mention the fact that this video is well over an hour long and there's only maybe, what, 15 minutes of useful content? I mean, come on now, dude, do better. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Why not? It's an open door. Right, there you go. You have to close the doors if you want people out. That's just, look at this dude slamming doors, man. This dude is unhinged, man. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at this guy, man. This dude is unhinged, slamming the doors. Oh, he the field supervisor. Wow. Well, no shit. Many, many minutes later. Hi. Hi. I'm Sarah. I'm Are you a supervisor? I've been asking for you for like 30 minutes. So. Are you recording? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to turn it off. 
okay, I'm, I'm documenting. He has body cam footage? That's correct. That's correct. How you doing, officer? All right, pretty, pretty good. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, ma'am. To be perfectly honest. So you're not going to allow me to speak? You're not going to allow me to speak? No, unless you turn the recording off. So you, you're, you're saying that I can't file my FOIA either. Now, why the hell do you need a camera to begin with to file a FOIA request? I mean, all you got to do is fill out a form or something like that and hand it to them and the, they'll give it to you later on down the road when they get approval or anything like that. Because that's a state FOIA. FOIA. Freedom of Information Act. That is all done through the hotline. You have to call Springfield. You can't do that here. Yes, I can. I can, I can file a FOIA at any public agency, ma'am. No, you can't. That's the law. That's not the process here. Sir. So you, if you're not going to allow me to do that, then you're, going, you're infringing on my rights today. Are, are you okay to do that as a supervisor? You're going to ask to leave if you're going to record. And if you're requesting documentation, then you can call the hotline and request it that way. That is the process of how to get it. The fraudster seems to lack the brain cells to understand that uh, he has been asked to leave several times already by the manager of the property and by the uh, police officers. So therefore, that fits into the uh, in Illinois trespassing statute right here under that section 3 right there. But does the fraudster care about that? No. He's too, well... Stupid to figure that out. And I can also film, file it in person, in writing. You want me to show it to you on your website? We don't do that here. I can show it to you on your website. Okay. Well, you're still recording. We're going to ask you to leave. After, I'm, after oh, I finish documenting and filing my FOIA, I will leave. We do not file it here. They say, they're saying that the information that you're asking, you're not going to be able to get. So if you're not here for a public... Uh, like a service, and if they're not, that's, to help that's you, the service that I need. That's the service I'm, I, I need to follow for. You can't do that here, but they're just misinformed. Yeah. It's even on their website that I can do it. So, before you guys make a mistake and step into some mess for this business, or not business, but this office, I can't tell them what they can or cannot do. And if they're saying they can't do that, then you're gonna have to leave. If they want you to leave, you have to leave. This is what I'm trying to tell you, Officer Harness. Before you make a mistake, sir, because obviously you're, I can tell that you're trying to escalate this because you're not even listening to what I'm saying. I'm telling you and them what the law is, sir. You're law enforcement. You're not feelings enforcement. So please uh, uh, enforce the law today, sir. I'll agree with you on that right there, uh, Mr. Tyrant Terminator. He's law enforcement, not feelings enforcement. And at this point... He's not going to enforce your feelings right now because you sound like you're getting a little upset. And uh, like you said, he's not feelings enforcement. So your feelings don't matter either. Who cares if you get upset? What matters is, well, that uh, you were asked to leave several times and you refused to do so. And now that is to considered to be trespassing. Not their well, feelings. My business is a FOIA. I have to file a FOIA. So, okay, so you want me to show you then? Can I show you on their website where it says I can't? You don't have to do that. Well, I'm, I'm trying to prove it to you that they're lying. I'm telling you what's going to happen. Like, you're going to have to leave. Okay, so you're, you're not interested that they're lying to you then? If they are, then you can take it up to court and have an issue with them later on. But they're telling you that the service... Sir, can you call a sergeant here? Call a supervisor. I appreciate it. He's talking to one right now. Though. Okay, so we're going to wait for the supervisor to show up because obviously. Again, you have to stop recording. We're going to wait for the supervisor to show up. Then you need to step outside and record out there. We're going to wait for the super. When the sergeant come here, we'll see what he, he or she has to say and then we'll go from there. And we'll leave you to conduct your business. Please be cannot record anywhere. Okay, well, I mean, obviously you're misinformed. Thank you. You're welcome. This is crazy, man. I want to speak to your. When all else fails, have them call the supervisor. And, uh, well, that usually doesn't work out for the frauditor or sovtard involved in the situation. And especially in this case, you're still going to get that trespass. Hmm? What? Oh, 15 minutes later. I'm, I'm definitely going to, Sergeant Brown, but I don't want to be rushed, sir. You, you, you're just like you're... I'm not trying to, but it seems like you would rather engage in conversations than do what you want, came here to do. No, you know exactly what I... I don't want to... First, let me let me put it out there like this, dude. Am I wrong? No, no. You, yeah, you're absolutely wrong. We, we've asked you several times, if there's stuff you need done, then go ahead and do it. That's correct, but but it's going to make it look like you're making me do it. And I don't, I'm not cool with that. I don't, I don't want to be made to do anything.
I'm not trying to make you do anything. I'm just providing you the opportunity to do what you told us how many times I, that you wanted to do. I'm going to do it, okay. Sergeant, but I don't need for you to rush me, sir. I'm not okay, so then, uh, so so you know that so I'm going to do it. Why, why do we need to talk? We don't need to. I still got to file a FOIA, so I'm not going to leave after I do that. <laughs> Do you have the paperwork that, he, that he's requesting the FOIA? No, they don't have it. They, they don't. They don't need to have it. Uh -huh. I looked all that information up on the computer. Okay. And there's nothing there. He has to file it. He has to himself. That's right, okay. and I'm going to. But you can't do that on our computers. I don't need to do it on your computer, ma'am. I can do it the way I just did it with the blank sheet of paper. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do again. I don't know what else. <laughs> That's, that's nothing else I want. That's it. All right. So there's nothing you need from this lady in the front desk? I don't need nothing from her. I'm going to fill out this again, and I'm going to turn it into whomever is going to take it again and give me a Xerox copy. And when you guys leave, then that's when I'll leave, like I told these officers. That Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Sorry to burst your little bubble, dude, but the world doesn't revolve around you. So take your Dunning-Kruger infected ass and walk out the door before you are arrested for trespassing. Or please stay so we can watch you get uh, put into a shiny new pair of bracelets. I mean, we all would love to see that. To leave? with the cops they want me to walk out when they walk out and i'm not going to do that when you guys pull off then i'll pull off what i'm trying to explain to you is they want you to leave so we're here to ask you to leave if you don't want to leave then we will issue a citation and if you still don't want to leave then we will take you to jail well and we don't want to go down that road i'm trying to accommodate so, so let me, let oh come on now sergeant just go ahead and put him in cuffs at this point if he's trying to be this freaking belligerent even though he knows he's trespassing at this point he knows he's in the wrong he just wants to make sure that you guys are gone so he can act like the big man he thinks he is when he's just well a tiny man thinking that he knows everything Look, Look, sergeant brown sergeant brown man yeah. with, all, with all due respect what citation are you talking about? Trespassing? Yeah. So again, you're going to disregard the Illinois compiled statutes when it comes to trespass. You, you're going to disregard that as a sergeant? Yeah. If oh. they don't want you inside their building, yes, we will issue you a citation for trespassing. So so even though the statutes say you can't do it, you're going to still show, do it. Show me. Oh, the statute says they can't do it, huh? Uh, dude, have you even read the uh, statute? Because you say they can't do it, yet the statute says they can. I mean, come on now, dude. You're just like any other frauditor. You quote mine and you lie. I mean, that's just the name of the game right there. I, I just told it to you. Show me. Are, are you pulling up on your phone? No, show me. You, so you want me to stop recording? Why? Because I want you to show me. That's not being transparent. That. Pull it out on your phone. I want I'll you to show me where it says that. If you pull out your phone, you can Google it, sir. I 720 know I can. ILCS 521-3. You cannot trespass from public building during normal business hours. That's the law, sir. Let's go ahead and take a look at what he's talking about. That passage does exist within the statute, but here's the thing. Look at what it says right here. Within the first item, it doesn't say anything about section 3 right there, which is what's happening at this point. So please try, try, try again, you dumbass. Actually read the damn statute and understand where it applies. I mean, you're making yourself look like a complete imbecile, even more so than usual. So you're saying you'll go against the law for their feelings? They don't want you here. You, I'm just asking a question. A disturbance right now. I'm causing a disturbance. I'm having a conversation, a dialogue with you, sir. They don't want you here. I'm asking a simple they're, question. They've asked you to leave. I'm asking a simple question from the sergeant. Are you saying you're going to disregard the law even though you're law enforcement? That's all I want to know. Spoiler alert, as if you guys really needed it at this point. Because he's not getting his way, he's going to ask for somebody higher in the chain of command. Oh, boy. Yeah, talk about a uh, real, uh, well, crybaby. I'm saying if they want you trespassed, yes, we will escort you out of here. No, no matter what the law say. The law doesn't show me where it says that. I just, I just conveyed it to you, Sergeant. I just told you it's seven twenty ILCS five twenty one dash three. That's the law. Maybe you want to call a commander here, because 
Maybe, maybe so, because you're going to make a, a huge mistake, Sergeant Brown. So, we'll see. Well, I guess the commander is going to come now. So. No, the commander is not going to come. He doesn't have time to deal with the whiny, spoiled, petulant little child like yourself. So, let's go ahead and skip on ahead to see what happens after that. Well, the commander's not coming out. He's busy right now. If you'd like to speak with him at the police department, you're more than welcome to. He'll talk, he'll talk to you. So how long would it be? What's that? How long would it be when he said? I don't know. Because I can hang around. I just hang out and see, see if it's not going to be that long. He's a busy guy. I don't know how long it's going to be. Okay. Okay. So uh, so where do we go from here, uh, Sergeant Brown? Man, it's on you. not allowed back in the building. What's your... If I'm not allowed, so so you're so you're gonna you're not gonna allow me to conduct my official business. You're gonna step on my right to follow for you. Is that what you're saying on camera, Sergeant? You can do it online, Sergeant. I can do it in person. I'm, all I'm asking you is, and we can we can be done with this. Are you gonna infringe on my rights today on camera? If they don't want you in the building. What we'll do is we will cite you. If you don't want to leave, then we will put you in handcuffs and we will bring you back to the police department. For what? What? what for if, if, what? For what crime? Criminal trespass to state supported property. That's not a crime, sir. That's, that, you just said a citation. <laughs> and if you don't want to leave and you continue to act. Act what? Act which way? Of trespassing. If you continue the act of trespassing, we will put handcuffs on you and we will take you back to the police department. So, that's, that's part of the safety act. That's how they want us to do it. Okay, so, um, so, okay, well, obviously I'm outside their building, right? I'm sorry? So, obviously I'm outside their building, yep. correct? So I'm good to go in the parking lot, right? Yeah. I okay. Walk huh? It's, it's gonna come down on you guys, person. Probably not you, man, because you try to do the right thing. But you two guys for sure, man, because it's, it's it's definitely discrimination. And when a judge see this and put you guys on the stand, he's gonna ask you. This young man conveyed to you guys the law, and you guys disregarded it. The judge is definitely gonna ask you that. I know precisely what I'm doing. I do this all over the country. So y'all just you just get ready, man. All right. Day, okay? All right, for sure. I'm on my way to the DeKalb County Police Department still, though, for sure. Well, now, to be short and to the point, he did go over to the police department. He did talk to the commander, and it got him absolutely nowhere. He was still trespassed, and, well, he may just end up filing his lawsuit. But you know what? Every frauditor says that, and 99% of the time, they don't do it because they know it's not going to go anywhere. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?